pretty much like worked way worked mer mer mer. So I've always, always, I've always, always is really what I'm trying to do. Give my pits a break. Hey guys, welcome back. So I have got another empties video for y'all today. So as usual, I've waited way too long to film this video. So I'm gonna have to run through these products really rapidly and give you some little quick mini reviews, but I've gotten pretty good at that because this is usually how I have to film the empties videos because I always wait too long. So let's get to it. As usual, I have got a crap ton of this hairspray because it's my favorite hairspray and I'm a hairspray gal. Like I just love hairspray. I use a lot of it. I think it's like the main thing that keeps my hair having some like volume and just some kind of texture because my hair is so fine. So my favorite is the Garnier Fruit Tea Style Full and Plush Volume Hairspray. I also sometimes use the um, sleek one. I don't think I have any. No, I don't have any sleek ones in here this time, but oh, I do. This big one's a sleek one. Yeah, the big mamma jamma ginormous one. Bonus 50% more. I need like a lot more of those. I found a few of them at Walmart, but I think I pretty much like worked way worked my worked my way through them all. So anyway, this one's my favorite, but I also really like this one. I like it because it holds the style, but it's not super like um, crunchy and it's kind of like buildable. So a little bit is just like a, a lighter hold. And then if you add more, like a few more layers, then it gets to be more of a hold. So it's just awesome. So, and it makes your hair like smell really yummy. Okay, also really love this. I have a couple of these in here. This is my favorite um, texture spray. This is the Garnier Fructis New Look Deconstructed Texture Tees Dry Touch Finishing Spray. So this can be kind of hard to find, but um, I can't remember if I bought it online before, but I found it at Walgreens. So I can find them like sometimes at random Walgreens, like not at every single one, but if I do come across it, I usually stock up. So I like this because it smells yummy, makes your hair smell yummy, and it gives texture without making it super crunchy or look dirty. A lot of times texture sprays can make your hair look dirty. This is kind of more um, fluffy without being uh, fly away. So it doesn't really do that, but it just gives that like volume and texture and just kind of separation to your hair. So I really, really like this and it's affordable. I used up a few of these. This is my current favorite conditioner. I just really like it. This is the Garnier Fructis grow strong paraben free fortifying conditioner with apple extract and ceramide it says for stronger healthier shinier hair every inch 10 times stronger proven strength system the reasons i like this is because it smells really yummy like smells like apple so it makes your hair smell amazing but it's also really creamy and very detangling so since i have fine hair my hair can tend to get really super tangled and this just really helps so it detangles but then it doesn't weigh down my hair so i mean i obviously like wash it out it's not like a leave-in um but it doesn't leave my hair feeling heavy and like weighed down so love that another texture spray in here i do like this one but i don't like it as much as the garnier one this is the not your mother's double take dry finish texture spray two in one tousled texture shape and volume medium hold so one of these, I can't remember which one, I'm guessing it's this one because it still has stuff in it. The sprayer like just stopped functioning. So that was super annoying. Um, I kept trying and it just like wouldn't spray. Like for a little while it would kind of spray off and on. So I just like try to use it and it would spray like 10% of the time, but then it just totally gave up and just wouldn't spray at all. So I do like this one. Um, I don't like the smell as much. It's kind of more of like a fresh smell versus like a fruity smell, like the uh, Fructis, Garnier Fructis one is. I like the fruity smells. This one is more of like a fresh, almost manly kind of a smell. Not bad, smells fresh, um, but I don't like how, I don't like the texture that this gives quite as much as the Garnier. I do still really like it. Like it's, it is one that I enjoy. That's why I have a couple in here. Um, so sometimes if I can't find the Garnier one, I can pick this one up. So it does still give nice texture, but not quite that like, it doesn't look quite as fresh and clean as the Garnier one. I have a bottle of my favorite mousse in here. This is the Not Your Mother's Whip It Up Cream Styling Mousse for all hair types. Builds body, thickens strands, tames frizz, non-sticky. Love this because it smells like cupcakes and it really does hold your style without weighing down your hair and without making it 
feel sticky and crunchy. This is a like a very um, whipped creamy sort of a texture mousse like it really does look like whipped cream so it's very light and fluffy and just smells amazing I love it I like never switch to a different mousse this is just my go-to I keep buying it and it's just like if it ain't broke don't fix it so I just keep getting it I really like this my um, hair lady said that this is not gonna be around anymore it's never been easy to find I've always either purchased it from her or to link it for you guys just found it on Amazon this is the Sebastian Professional Shine Define Shine and Flexible Hold Hairspray. So she said that this is a heat protectant, but also a shine spray and also a hairspray. So I've always, always, I've always, always, I've always, always used this after I blow dry my hair and before I style it so that it helps to protect my hair, but also gives some hold when I go to style it, however I'm going to style it, either curl it or curl it under or whatever. So... I'm gonna be sad if this is going away. Sounds like it possibly is, so that's a stinky deal. Um, I have one of these in here. This is the John Frieda Sheer Blonde Highlight Activating Brightening Shampoo. Activates natural looking highlights for lighter blondes. I use the darker blondes too. I just really like this. Um, it really does help to remove like gunk from the hair. This is kind of one of my go-to shampoos, just a regular like old shampoo. This is one of my go-tos because it cleans the hair really well, removes the buildup or helps to remove the buildup. It does smell nice. It's kind of a fresh manly scent, but I'm used to it now because I've used this so long for so many years. So I like the scent of it now, but I mean, if it were fruity, I would like it even more. Got the Up and Up brand. This is from Target. Moisturizing Shave Gel. This is Strawberry Tangerine. It smelled really yummy. It was inexpensive. So that's why I got it because it smells good and it was cheap. And it works well. Like, I'm not picky about shave gels. If it works, it works. And that one works. This is from Bath & Body Works. This is the Tutti Dol Dolce? Dolce? I think it's Dulce. Golden Honey Praline Shower Gel. This was um, a collection, I don't know, maybe like a year ago. So I'm always like, I always have Bath & Body Works shower gels to finish up. Like, just ones from probably a year or two ago that I'm still trying to go through. So that was one of them. I had another one. I had a Vanilla Bean Noel. I don't know where that went, but I had a vanilla bean Noel in here and it walked away. I have a couple of deodorants. First, I have the Secret. This is Passion de Tango. Um, I do really like Secret. I think it works well. I kind of alternate. Like, I don't fully jump on the bandwagon of not wearing regular deodorant, but I do try to kind of go back and forth because I can, like, you know, I don't know. I can tell like my razor gets buildup on it from deodorant that's still there. So I like the idea of like giving my armpits a break is really what I'm trying to do. Give my pits a break. So when I'm trying to give my pits a break, I switch over from this to this one. This is the Old Spice Wolfthorn deodorant. So it's just a guy's deodorant, but it's one that's not quite as mannish. Yeah, it's a little bit kind of like fruity smelling. So, and it's just a deodorant. So it just helps with the stank, but not with the sweating. So like the perspiration. So if you want the perspiration, you need an antiperspirant. But if you're trying to avoid antiperspirant, then maybe look for a guy's deodorant because then you don't, because the natural ones I've tried haven't worked for me. So this is a good alternative. Some more hair care things and some randoms. This is the Living Proof Full Dry Volume Blast. It says instant lasting volume and texture. So this is like a texture and volume spray. I do really like this. Um, I think it works well. It's very strongly scented. Like it smells good, but when I use it, I like have to take a breather and walk out of the bathroom because it's just so intensely fragranced and it also like goes everywhere. So it's just like, I feel like it's everywhere when I'm using it. So it does work well. It does give nice texture, but I don't notice that I like it any more than the drugstore ones. And I like the, I think I like the Garnier one. I know I like the Garnier one better. So it's good, but it's a, you know, high end something. So I'd rather go with the cheap one that I like more. This is the Living Proof um, Anti-Frizz, basically. Humidity Shield. It says, prevents frizz, blocks humidity, weightlessly protects any style used on dry hair. Um, this is like a more intense sort of hairspray, basically. It says, with heat and UV protection. So, I don't know. Like, it's supposed to help lock in your style. It was just too much hold for me. Like, I would use it, especially on kind of humid days, but I wouldn't go out and purchase a big size. This is the Dry Bar Hot Toddy Heat and UV Protectant. Love this. It is a cream 
one and I will use this when my hair is wet and I love it. It works really well. I think it does protect my hair. I think my hair stays healthier. When I do use this, it's really good. This is the Sephora Triple Action Cleansing Water Face and Eyes. This is a good kind of micellar water. Like it does a good job of removing stuff but doesn't work quite as well as like, um, you know, a, an eye makeup remover or an oil-based makeup remover or like a cleansing balm. I have a cleansing balm in here. This one doesn't work quite as well, but it works like a typical micellar water. Oh goodness, lots of skincare things. We're gonna have to move through this quickly. This is the Serious Skincare Reverse Lift Correction Firming Beauty Cream for the chin, neck, and jawline. So I've been working on my neck. I don't really know if I can tell a difference yet. I've always had these lines, like, I don't even know, probably my whole life, but at least since I was a teenager, like it's just, I don't know, just the way I look around and whatever, they're there. So I'm always just like trying to apply things to my neck. I don't notice a big difference, um, but it does feel nice and hydrated and maybe the longer I use it, I would see more of a difference. This is the Clinique, Clinique Smart Custom Repair Serum. Really like this. This is like a targeted serum that's supposed to kind of like help whatever things you've got going on. Like it's supposed to target that specific issue. Really like this. It's one of my favorite serums. This is the, there's a lovely hair on it. This is the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Eye Cream. Really, really like this. This is one of my favorite eye creams. It's kind of like in between a, um, a cream and a gel. I would say more like a gel, but with like a, a thicker gel. I would describe it like a thicker gel. Does a good job of hydrating, um, what else? Uh, helps with the puffiness, and I think my under eyes just look better after I use it. This is the Serious Skin Care, Serious Skin Care, I can't say that right, A Defense Anti-Aging for Ageless Skin 4 Million IUA Cream XR. I'm not gonna read all this, but basically it's like a retinol type of a, a cream. So if you're looking for an A cream or some kind of a retinol cream, this is a great one to try because it's more affordable. And um, when you watch her on HSN, she talks about how uh, they basically use like a lot of the same labs and a lot of the same sort of like mixtures as a lot of super expensive skincare. So it's one to look into. So if you're looking for an A cream, this is a good option. This was the Sunday Riley Luna Oil. I absolutely love it. This was the Sunday Riley Good Jeans. They're awesome. Like probably some of my two very favorite skincare items because the Good Jeans helps with um, discoloration, spots, things like that, texture sort of things. And the Luna Oil helps with those fine lines and it's just amazing. I absolutely love those two. Okay, this just basically went bad because this is really old. This is the Bliss Multifaceted All-in-One Anti-Aging Clay Mask. I love this mask. Like it's, I hate that it kind of basically went bad and I just decided to get rid of it, but it's like a really nice thick clay mask that like pulls everything out of your skin. So it feels very clarifying. So I really, really like that. Let me clean off the top of this because it just looks dirty and gross. Okay, I have um, the Josie Marin 100% Pure Argon Oil love this stuff. If you've watched my channel and heard me talk about skincare, this is one of my favorite skincare products. If I was required to only use one skincare product, I think it would be this because I feel like it's so hydrating. I feel like it does address the most things like that my skin just overall looks better. Like if I don't feel good and I don't want to use skincare, I'm just like, I just want to go to bed. This is what I will grab for because I feel like it's a one and done kind of step that's hydrating, going to help with um, just whatever your skin needs. You know, when you have something more natural, you're giving your skin nutrients so that it can kind of repair itself is kind of my thought process with it. So love this. This is awesome. The It Cosmetics Bye Bye Makeup 3-in-1 Makeup Melting Cleansing Balm. This works amazing. Removes the makeup. I'm totally into double cleansing now. I love to remove my makeup with a cleansing balm and then follow it up with some kind of a cleanser. And this is, I think this, I have to say this is my favorite because it, it doesn't irritate my eyes. It removes everything. And it's just my first step. Like this is what I use and I love it. Some makeup-y things, some brow things, and then I've got a lot of mascaras, but really I'm just getting rid of the mascaras or most of them because they've kind of gone bad. But I do have some favorites in there. Okay, the Laura Geller Baked Balance and Brighten Color Correcting Foundation in Fair. I absolutely love this. Like it just, 
is this buttery powder that just makes your skin look amazing. I use it to set my makeup. I have still to this day, I have not tried it by itself with like um, concealer, but I bet it, I mean, I'm, it's supposed to work that way. So I need to try it that way. I will even use that on foundations that look kind of dry and textury on my skin. I'll use that to just give that like a buttery, hydrated look to the skin without being oily. It's awesome. I love that. The Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion, it's the professional size. I'm really just getting rid of this because it's so old. This size, like I just didn't ever get through it, like in time. Um, I love that one, but I also love the Wet n Wild one. Those are my two favorites. So, you know, $5 versus 20 something. So I like them both, but I tend to grab for my Wet n Wild a little bit more often. This is the Sephora Solid Brush Cleanser. This works really well. Um, it smells good. It's very fresh smelling. Yeah, like fresh and almost vanilla smelling. Cleanses them really well. I do like to follow that up with like baby shampoo because it tends to make my brushes feel a little bit soapy by itself. So I like to use something a little bit lighter after it. So it's like it gets in there, does the cleaning, but then I like to follow it with something a little bit lighter like the baby shampoo. The NYX Tame and Frame Tinted Brow Pomade. I love this stuff. It does a great job of filling in my brows while looking very natural. This one's very kind of light and fluffy and moussey, and this color matches my brows probably better than anything. So I love that. I also really love the NYX Micro Brow Pencil. This is a great dupe for the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz, so that's awesome. I have two of those in here. This is the uh, BH Cosmetics Studio Pro HD Brow Pencil. This is in blonde. I wear the NYX one in taupe. So this one is in blonde. I like this, but it's a little bit too warm toned for me. Still worked, but I like the NYX one better. This is the Sephora Retractable Brow Pencil. This is in nutmeg brown. This is too warm toned for me and a little bit too dark, but I was just trying to use it up. Um, and it still like kind of worked. I would just use it kind of like not all over my brows or it could be too dark. This is the, this is an eyeliner. This is the Star Looks, I don't even know, eyeliner pen. I got this in some kind of a subscription service. It's a felt tippy kind of one and it basically just dried out. The felt tip ones that don't move very much, I find them a little bit hard to use, but it was a nice black liner, but not a go-to for me. I really like this. This is the uh, Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil. And I have this in number two. I love the packaging on it. I think it's so fun. This is great. Like it's um, a great dupe for the Brow Wiz because it's that tiny kind of a, a brow product and it fills in the brows nicely, wears nicely, it's easy to use. So really like this one, really like this one too. So I think these are both great. And now let's do rapid fire on these mascaras. So this is the Kevin Aquan, the Expert Mascara. So this is kind of like a maroon looking mascara with kind of a curvy sort of a wand. Meh, I think it's just okay. I like the color of it. I think it's fun and creative, but I wouldn't go out and buy another one. This has lipstick all over it. How fun. This is the Pacifica Natural Minerals Stellar Gaze Length and Strength Mineral Mascara. I remember thinking I was like pleasantly surprised by this mascara. If I can get it open so I can look at it. Yeah, so this was like a th a super thick, a super thick um, mascara, like goopy kind of mascara, which I like those. Let me get the lipstick all off of it while we're talking about it. So I remember thinking I, I was impressed with it for it being a more natural mascara because it says natural minerals. So I think for a natural mascara, it worked pretty well. I remember not liking this one. This is the Pacifica Dream Big. So this is supposed to be... I think it's, no, there's another one that's like a two-sided. This is a kind of plasticky one. The other one is a bristle one. I just don't remember um, seeing volume with this. So, oh yes, this is the one that you can kind of like twist the top and it's supposed to change the volume level. So it's supposed to do volume, volume and length. So I just remember not really noticing a big, you know, change with that. So didn't love that one, but I like the first one. This is the... Laura Geller Lash Boss. Can't get a lot of volume with this, and volume is what I really want in mascara, so this is not my favorite mascara. If you're looking for kind of more fluttery lashes, you'll probably like it. It's kind of like a comb 
shaped wand, sort of, and it is a plastic wand. So not my favorite mascara. Did not like this one at all. This is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Waterproof Mascara. This smudged on me like crazy. The regular Better Than Sex smudges on me. And this one I think smudged as bad, if not better, not better, if not worse, like if not more so. I think it's smudged more so, which is confusing since it's supposed to be waterproof. So I don't know, but I did not like it. Uh, this one right here, this is the Wet n Wild Lash Renegade Mascara. I liked this. I was pretty impressed with this. It takes a lot of building, kind of an interesting ball shaped sort of a wand to it. Took a lot of building, but it does build on itself and gives pretty good volume. So I think it's a, a pretty good um, drugstore mascara option. This is the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise. Really like this mascara. It does tend to get goopy and dry out really quickly. So that is the negative to it, but it does give really nice volume, um, really pretty lashes, but you'll probably go through it pretty quickly. So that's negative to that but I do like it. This is the It Cosmetics Tightline Full Lash Length Black Primer. So this is a super skinny mascara. I like this for lower lashes. You can also use it on your upper lashes too, just to give, get right at that tight line. So that's kind of the concept of it. So if you like to get like right at your lash line, both bottom and top, this is a great mascara for that. Love this one. This is the CoverGirl The Super Sizer. This is a really nice volumizing one. I still do use quite a few um, coats of it. I do that with every mascara, but it builds on itself really well and just gives beautiful lashes. And then my all time favorite, the It Cosmetics Superhero. This is like magic. I absolutely love it. It just gives the most incredible volume to your lashes. It is a thick, gloopy mascara. It does get thick and gloopy. I do find that I replace it fairly often, but I just love it so much, I don't care. <laughs> like just how much it does with one coat to your lashes is incredible. I'll still use two or three coats to it, but it really only needs one. Like it just does so much with even one coat. It's awesome, gives length, gives volume, just gives you va boom lashes. All right guys, so those are all my empties and some little mini reviews on these products. So I hope that you really enjoyed this video and hope it was helpful for you. Please hit a thumbs up if it was and let me know down below if you've tried any of these products. What do you think about them? What are your mini reviews on them? Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.